Hey, how you doing? I'm just going to go over something real quick. Uh, how to use Source Tree with um, Unreal Engine. So, let's see. I'm going to open up Source Tree real quick here. All right. Um, so, I've, I've got a project. I just created a project in Unreal Engine. So, here it is. I'm just going to open it real quick. Uh, it's right here. So, so while that loads, I'm going to jump over to Source Tree. So, got the project. Really, you didn't really need to open that, but I just wanted to show you that because you need to create it first um, for this workaround to get it to work with Bitbucket. Um, so you know once you once you create your project and everything is straight hold on a second here let me change it to okay there we go all right so yeah i've got a project here whatever um i went ahead and i, I made a new folder right here so, uh, super space ace race i made a few folders in here that i'm going to be uh utilizing so I'm going to go ahead and close out of that. All right, we're going to jump back over to source tree. So let's go ahead and create a new folder. So I made this folder right here, super space ace race for the purpose of this video. I'm going to go ahead and delete it. So I'm going to do new, all right, and select, select folder. Um, when you go into source tree, you need to go to create. So that's what we're doing. We're creating a repository. And then we're going to name it. Uh, make sure it's lowercase. The, the newest version of source tree, for some reason, requires you to have lowercase. So then you get this uh, create repository on account. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Okay. And then we'll go ahead and make it private. Now, if you're going to be sharing with other people, then I guess you leave that unchecked. So we'll go ahead and we will create this. So in your Bitbucket account, you should see a new repository show up um, with that name or whatever you name it, obviously. So now we'll go to uh, File Explorer. All right, give me one second. I'm going to go ahead and navigate to that folder. Oh, I put it here. Hold on. New hard drive. All right, so this is my original uh, project folder. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this into the new folder. All right, see this git file? This is where this is that repository that we're talking about. So I'll go ahead and paste the new files in. All right, almost done. All right, so we got the files. Everything is looking good. I am going to jump over to source tree. All right, and you should see those files pop up. So for me, what I'm going to do is I am going to choose only the things that I'll use. Now, Bitbucket is limited to 2 gigabytes. So in my case, I am going to be uploading config, uh, the specific super space race uh, folder that I created with the maps and everything underneath. Uh, intermediate, you don't need to worry about because this is like the uh, in-engine editing. So anything that you're doing while you're actually like working on your project internally gets stored here, so we don't need to import that. Uh, saved, and then the project. So I'm gonna go ahead and call this init. We're gonna commit. 
All right. And we're going to say yes. OK, so that was pretty quick. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and push. And we're going to choose master push. All right, so that is now uploading. Shouldn't take too long because it, it wasn't really that much. Um, OK, so now we can jump over to Unreal Engine 4. Give me a second. Ooh, I got to open it back up. <sighs> OK, so we'll go ahead and open. gonna browse to the new folder where we have that uh, git folder we're gonna open up that space ace racer UE project all right so it's loading now Almost there. Okay. Now we are in. I'm going to go ahead and change this input to a real editor. Come on here. There we go. Sorry about that. I think I need to update my OBS program here. Anyways, um, so we're back in the project. We go to source control, connect to source control. We're going to choose Git. All right, and it automatically found the uh, Git folder, or did it? No, that's not right. Hold on a second here. Let me just make sure. Okay, never mind. I guess that's right. So I'll accept. Okay, so now. I'll make a new folder here. Test. I'll go ahead and I'll just drop something in. Do test. All right. So I'm going to go to source control and submit to source control. So there's no assets to check in. Hmm. I think that's right. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Let me try to copy something over from another folder, maybe. We'll do whatever. These. That'll be our test. Okay, paste that in. All right, submit the source control. Okay, there we go. Oh, hold on. I gotta save it first, I think. Oh, no, maybe not. Test. All right, submit. Okay, so that looks like it worked. So I'm gonna jump back over to source tree all right and then I'm gonna go to content interaction hmm. I'm curious 
Maybe I need to save first. Let's jump back over to Unreal Engine. We'll do save all and see if anything changes. And then we'll we'll do this again. Okay. Test two. All right. Okay, so jump back over to source tree. All right, and not intermediate uh, interaction. I don't want that. I guess it automatically goes in, so I can just push. Let me see. Test two. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like maybe it's here. Do that. Commit that. All right, we'll go ahead and push. All right, so I can see, so you can't see this right now because I couldn't get the browser to record, but I'm on my Bitbucket and I see that all the files that I placed are now in my repository. So it did work. So both, both comments did work. So there you have it. I think, uh, I think that's pretty much it.